Hello boys and girls. I am so happy to see you seated right in front of me and listening to God's word. You're very welcome to today's children's service and we are happy to see you. If your friends are not yet here, go home, go wherever they are and call them to come and listen to God's word. But also, if your sisters and brothers and whoever is always listening to us is not yet with you, go and tell them to come. Now, boys and girls, we are in another beautiful series of African tales. Tell your neighbor, African tales. Now, what are African tales? African tales are stories of long ago, those stories that they keep telling us of what was happening before you were born. Stories like Chintu and Nambi, stories like Jipiri and Labongo, stories of why a giraffe has a very long neck and so many of them. So in this series, we are going to be looking at African tales. You'll be listening to some of these stories and we will draw some of the good virtues and that we can learn as children using God's word. They are going to be very, very interesting. And I am excited that you're going to be seated and listening to these stories. Now, remember boys and girls, usually when we come into the house of God, we have rules. Today, I decided to just bring these rules so that you just, you just read them. So I want you to read what you see. What does this rule say? Good. I have another one here. What does it say? Very good. And then, lastly, I have this rule here. What does it say? I hope that you're going to be doing what these rules are telling you to do as the lesson is going on. We shall put our hands together and then we shall pray. Our hands together, boys and girls. Dear Lord, we want to thank you so much for bringing us into today's service. We ask you to be with us and guide us. And Lord, even as we listen to these stories and enjoy the music, help us to love you and to draw our hearts towards you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So I will go ahead and invite the praise and worship team. Children, children, come up here and let's sing for the Lord. Okay, children, wherever you are, get up if you are still seated. We are going to sing and dance for the Lord. With a simple song that says, come and go with me to my father's house. You will see your fellow kids. They will be doing the actions as we follow. Are you ready? Okay, everybody, get up and we sing. Big, big. 
We are sweating, so let us humble ourselves and worship our Lord. In a simple song that says, Go to Sava. Whenever we pray, God hears. Go to Sava. Whenever we pray, our loving God, our caring God hears. So humble yourselves, bow your heads, close your eyes.
as you continue to praise and worship Lord. Help those who are needy, help those who are sick, and help you, Lord, that we can have the courage, the strength to worship you more and more without backing up. In this mighty name we do pray and believe. Amen. The bird and the elephant. Oh, once upon a time, many years ago, when I was just a little boy, my father told me a story about an elephant and a bird. Listen close, for you need to catch the moral. A long time ago, in a village in northern Uganda, lived an elephant and a bird. As it was a season of planting, they would meet at dawn to start working on their gardens before it got too hot in the day. In order to pass time, the elephant and the bird used to talk and play games or tell jokes sometimes. One day, the elephant and the bird got into a dispute as to who had the biggest voice. They took the matter to the other villagers who were also tending their gardens. In front of the comrades, the bird and elephant set a wager. The elephant, believing that he had the biggest voice, sneered at the bird. As our homes are two hours away from our gardens, tomorrow when we meet, we shall shout out our friends to prepare our dinner for us in our homes. This will show us once and for all who has the biggest, loudest voice. The bird liked the sound of this challenge, and he said to the elephant, As you are so confident that I will lose, let me make this bet more interesting. Whoever wins will be given 10 cows from the loser. The elephant and the bird agreed to the rules in front of their comrades before leaving to their gardens for the day. The bird was very cunning and started making arrangements for the following day. He placed his bird friends in hearing distances for each other in line back to his house. At dawn, the next morning, the elephant and bird met at their gardens. The elephant was allowed to go first. He lifted his trunk up to the sky and trumpeted loudly. <coughs> next was the bird. He lifted his beak up to the sky and chirped as loud as he could. <coughs> they spent the rest of their time tending to their gardens before it was time to go home. When it was time to go back home, they agreed to first go to the elephant's house. As they entered the compound, they saw not a soul was around. It was empty. One was fetching more firewood, the other was getting water, the other had gone to the market, not expecting any guests to arrive. The elephant was so angry. Next, they went to the bird's house. As they approached his compound, it was clear the courtyard had been swept. The pathways cleaned, mats laid, and feasts had been laid ready. Even all of the bird's friends were lined up ready to greet the visitors. My friend, do not be upset, the bird said. Now you have learned not to underestimate anyone. Come and drink and eat with us and forget your losses. The next day, the elephant handed over ten cows to the bird and thanked him for teaching him an important lesson. This is the end of the story. And as we say in Luganda, Nangao Wenalavira. And for me, that is what I saw all those years ago. Okay, boys and girls, I believe you listened to the story and also watched the story. Did you love the story? Was it a nice story? Now we're going to learn and, you know, Try to get to know more if the story. How many enjoyed the story? Okay, now I want to ask a question. Um, you saw the bird, right? And you saw the elephant. Do you think uh, it is bad to undermine someone, even when they are smaller than you? You remember the, the elephant undermined the bird, not so? Do you think it was good or it was bad? I think it, it was... I think it was bad. Mm. Why, do, why do you think it was bad for the elephant to undermine the bird? Because, because you did, he didn't know that 
he didn't know what that what that bird what that bird had and he didn't know that what that bird understood more than him he didn't know that the the bird understood more than the elephant and it it was playing so that it can actually win wow that is good even you who is watching it is not good to undermine or underestimate someone either they are smaller than you or they are bigger than you younger than you respect them equally because you can learn something from each one of them question number 2 when the bird told its bird's friends because the the bird had friends eh? did the bird do something wrong no why do you think he did not do something wrong? I think he did not do something wrong because he wanted to win and he wanted to take the cows. He wanted to win and he wanted to take the cows. So the bird had to do everything possible to see that it takes the cows. Even us when we are in a race, let's say we are running, you do every possible thing to make sure you win the race. Not so. That's why we even go to school to study and we concentrate and learn to make sure that at the end of the term we are the best in class not so so the bird told its bird friends to keep on with the sound because it wanted to win wow even all of us we need to learn from the bird we need to do everything possible so that we can win maybe my last question is it bad to compete no, it is not bad to compete. Why do you say it's not bad to compete? Because you can learn new things from competing your friends. Okay. And your fear will run away. Your fear will run away. Maybe you had this person in class. This person is the best, always the best. And you decide and say, I am going to read my books. I am going to read hard and compete with you. And in class, you will be the best also. You will, your fear will run away. You will no longer be fearing this person because you competed with this person. It is not bad to compete. And when you get a chance to compete in a good way, always compete so that your fears will run away. You will learn new things. And wow, you'll be enjoying the life. Even the same way the Bible tells us in our memory verse for today. If you have your Bible, you can open the Bible. Our memory verse today is coming from the book of uh, Philippians, Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2 and verse uh, 3. And it says, children, listen very carefully what the Bible says. It says, but be humble towards one another. Be humble towards one another. To me as your teacher, be humble to me. To your fellow children, be humble to them. Always considering others better than yourselves. Do not put yourself to the most high, I mean to the top. Consider your friends better than you. And when you consider your friends being better than you, in time, God will also lift you and make you better. Wow. Boys and girls, be humble. Can you say be humble? Be humble. I'm not hearing you say be humble. Be humble. Towards one another. I have not heard you. Towards one another. Be humble towards one another. Be humble towards one another. Always considering others better than yourselves. Always considering one another. Always considering always considering others better than yourselves others better than yourselves philippians chapter 2 philippians chapter 2 verse 3 verse 3 wow thank you for and 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 i pray and i urge you to always listen to these stories because they are teaching us new and better things thank you for listening and may god bless each one of you let me invite teacher esther to keep on and take us on. Thank you so much teacher Bruce. Children, I hope you have enjoyed the story. Did you enjoy the story? And I also hope that you learn to be humble towards one another, to your parents, to your teachers, even to your friends, okay? So, children out there, we want to go ahead and give in the house of the Lord. 
if mommy or daddy has given you money to give in the house of the Lord, please put it somewhere and when they come to church, they are going to be able to bring it to church. And with everyone here, we are going to be singing as we give. This is the way we give to God, we give to God, we give to God. This is the way we give to God, this is the way we give love. This is the way we love our God, we love our God, we love our God. This is the way we love our God, this is the way we love Thank you so much for giving in the house of the Lord. We are going to pray and then we shall be able to let you go and play. Our hands together. Our eyes closed. Dear Lord, we want to thank you so much for taking us through the story of the birds. We thank you that we have been able to learn something. We ask of you that this week you will keep us to be humble before our parents before our fellow friends and everyone that we shall be meeting. We ask that, Lord, we shall be putting our friends before ourselves. We pray that you will keep us safe against the COVID-19 and that we will come back to listen to your word on Sunday, praising and dancing and thanking you for taking us through the week. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye.